What's going on guys? It's Anthony and it's Monday. Hope you got your coffee. I got mine because it's garage news time. All right guys, so I hope your weekend went well. Mine did. I'm doing some catch up on the uh, content for the Wrenched Out Garage. If you guys haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. You're going to miss the garage news, garage talk, our install videos, and so much more. Today we're going to focus on three topics and uh, we'll start off with the Aero X truck topper. This thing debuted at SEMA. I've seen it all over the internet. A bunch of truck, uh, anybody that really follows trucks, you're going to see reposts talking either good, bad, or in between on this topper. I went on the good old internet and found a really good article at Motor One. I'll put a link to this down below. Uh, these guys did a good job talking about this thing. Ultimately, it's the fastback for your truck. They, they showcase it on Ford F-150s in the Raptor. Um, it definitely has a fastback design to it. Personally, I, I don't know. The thing I do like about it is I like seeing new design and somebody pushing something different in the uh, automotive space, especially when it comes to toppers. Toppers have gotten, over the last decade, They've gotten a lot sleeker, a lot cooler looking. Um, and this one, does it have a home? I don't know. Uh, I think it is kind of goofy looking. Um, but I also think that it's kind of cool looking too. What do you guys think? Drop a comment down below. I'm interested to see what your thoughts are on the Aero X. This thing retails for about $4,000 at least. That's the preliminary uh, estimates and what Motor One says in their article. Let's keep moving forward uh a guy that i reached out to they did not respond to me which i you know whatever i'm still going to talk about them today because i follow these guys on instagram i love their their photos these guys a are, are really good at taking photos it's uh they feature a lot of really cool trucks but most importantly they feature some really cool products that they make and that is addictive desert designs uh, or ADD off-road you guys I'll put a link to their Instagram and their website down below these guys make some really cool uh, accessories for your truck especially if you have a Ram or if you have an F-150 they have they have just an assortment make sure you check out their website um, if you got a GMC Jeep Nissan whatever it is anyways the reason I'm bringing them up is because again I follow these guys on Instagram they're constantly putting out great photos a lot of them are customer photos and I started looking at some of the Ram Rebel parts, you know, their front bumpers. Uh, talk, let's talk real briefly about them. Their bumpers have uh, multiple accessories and ports for lights. Uh, they've got wench. You can get a wench for them. They look clean and they look right on the truck. They also offer rear bumpers, side steps, headache racks, tire racks uh, for your bed and uh, additional modules or sections for those headache racks. And they look good. Now, the thing for me personally, when you look at uh, these freaking metal bumpers and steel bumpers and all this stuff for your truck, some of them just look like big ass chunks of metal that's welded together that are rhino lined. And I don't think they're aesthetically pleasing. You got a 50,000, 60, 70, $80,000 truck and you're throwing this thing on there, A, because you're like, well, I want protection and it looks good, but it really doesn't go with the truck. At least that's, that's my opinion. These guys, however, are really doing a good job with complementing that truck look so it's not too crazy um or too kind of bland and kind of crappy looking um again that's addictive des desert designs i i think their stuff looks good um right now i've got the uh ram rebel pulled up here and it looks like a lot of their stuff is running their gears running between right around that thousand marker and you can the sky's the limit if you want to get a front bumper with them putting all the lights on it and then putting the wench on it i think i built one the other night uh just because i wanted to and it was close to four thousand dollars so it's definitely an investment as well they also cater to a uh, if you have park sense and, and, or if you don't have park sense or if you want to lose it or whatever it is again, check those guys out. And they also, again, have a really cool Instagram feed. If you guys like looking at pictures of badass trucks. Now 
covers two of the topics. The third topic, super simple, and then we'll end on that note as I'm still attempting to stay to the five-minute marker. It looks like I just uh, coming right to it or I'm passing it. The 100th video giveaway. Real quick, this is the uh, garage life. Here's some of the decals. I'll show you right there. That's one of the decals. Here is another one. So if you guys want to win one of these and you can choose the color, there's an unfinished one that I'm, I'm not done uh, de-webbing. Uh, this one you're not going to be able to see, but I'll show you anyways. Th that would be white. Um, if you guys want to win one of these, super simple. We've got well over 100 videos on our YouTube channel here. Comment on five videos. Drop a comment on this video or the 100th video giveaway letting me know that you did it so I can verify. Your name's gonna get thrown into a hat. I'm gonna choose a name out and I'm gonna send you one of these for free. There's a lot of really cool stuff uh, coming out soon about garage life, what it means to me, and we're gonna build some really cool things around this because just like being a gearhead and everything else, it's impacted my life a lot more than just trying to make cool videos or whatever it is. Um, and we're gonna dive into that in a separate video. But anyways, make sure, get your name in the hat on this. This ends February 28th. So jump on that. If you guys like the content, share it as well. We appreciate all the comments, the views, and everything else for all of our videos. And let's wrap it up there. Thanks for tuning in to your garage news. If you guys are out riding or driving, do it safely. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Facebook. Until next time, guys. Hey, take care.